Hello and welcome to History Pod. On the 23rd of January 1556, the deadliest earthquake ever recorded hit the Chinese province of Shanxi and surrounding areas. The Shanxi earthquake, whilst being the deadliest on record, was by no means the highest magnitude ever recorded. However, a 520 mile wide area was seriously affected and up to 60% of the population of some cities was wiped out. The reasons for this level of destruction were the joint factors of location and timing. Firstly, Shanxi's position is one of the cradles of Chinese civilization, and it was therefore a relatively densely populated area. By striking in that region, a huge number of people were bound to be affected by the earthquake. Secondly, the people of the time predominantly set up home in fragile cave-like structures that were dug out of the lower soil that covers much of the area. Lower soil is a silty sediment that's built up through the action of the wind. Although it's highly effective as an insulator, it is also incredibly fragile. Described by agricultural and biosystems engineer John M. Laughlin as the most highly erodible soil on Earth, some settlements in Shanxi were dug entirely from it. The force of the earthquake and the landslides that followed destroyed huge numbers of the traditional dwellings. Scientists have since judged that the earthquake had a magnitude of around 8.0 on the Richter scale and have had no reason to question the traditional estimates of around 830,000 deaths. Gaspar de Cruz was a Portuguese Dominican friar who, in 1569, published one of the first European books on China since Marco Polo. Unaware of the geological reasons for earthquakes, he suggested that the earthquake was God's punishment for sinful behaviour by the Chinese people. (laughs) 